all the motivation that you had a few months ago or a few weeks ago is gone. If you look at right here, there are some YouTubers. She is my comfort YouTuber. You think about something very deeply for a long time. She spent some time alone. She's thinking very deeply and or you're going to a restaurant to have a dinner. And I eat this chocolate when I have the my cheese. If you look at someone or something blatantly, I have a question for you. Have you ever been in a situation where you set goals for yourself, you have a purpose, you have a goal, you have something that you want to achieve, you want to accomplish, and then you feel so motivated, you are so motivated, and you feel so ambitious, and you're like so determined to get what you want. And then you start to study every single day for hours and hours and you feel like you can study so hard, nobody can stop you, nothing can stop you and you're definitely gonna 100% get what you want. And then a few days later or maybe a few weeks later or a few months later, all of a sudden all the inspiration, all the motivation that you had a few months ago or a few weeks ago is gone. They're gone, you have no motivation, you have no inspiration, you don't feel like studying English anymore. Have you ever been in that situation? Because I am someone whose mood is constantly changing, frequently changing. Let's say today I feel so motivated and I'm in a very good mood and then I feel like you know I can study for hours and hours and not, no, nothing can stop me. But there is no way that my mood, this happiness and this motivation is gonna last more than a few weeks. Even if this week I am like so motivated, I am like so determined to learn English and I am like in a very good mood, next week I'm not gonna be in that mood. So do you ever experience that? If you're someone like me whose mood is constantly changing, frequently changing, it's always harder to stay consistent. So basically I had to come up with an idea. Even if I don't feel like studying English anymore, even if I feel like I lost all of my motivation, I still need to keep going. So first of all, what I want to talk about is you always need to keep in mind you can't keep it a without studying English. You need to study, you need to practice English every single day. That's the first rule and I always live by this rule. I always live by this rule, Arsene. Even if I feel like, you know, very emotional, very sad, I have no motivation whatsoever, I still need to keep practicing. That's my first rule. Now, in order to do that, now if you look at right here, there are some YouTubers. Case Neistat, Kennedy Walsh, Natalie Lean, Peter McKinnon and then Right here is Jubilee. And then we have Vanity Fair, Bill Eilish. We have talk shows, Dakota Johnson. And then we have Hassan Piker. If you look at those YouTubers and YouTube videos and YouTube channels, there are so many different categories. Now, when it comes to learning English, I always have a backup plan. I always categorize YouTubers or whatever YouTube channel I follow. I always categorize them. And what does that mean? Let's say today I don't feel like studying English anymore, like I'm so in a bad mood. If I'm in a situation like this, I always go with YouTubers that I can relate to. For instance, studying with Kennedy's videos, for instance, like what living alone is really like, a day in my life living alone. I can relate to her videos so much, she is my comfort YouTuber. Now the, the thing is, if I'm in a situation like this, if I feel like, you know, I don't want to learn anything new, like, but I need to still keep practicing English, I still need to practice speaking, I go study with Kennedy's videos, I get the scripts and I study with Kennedy. My purpose is, if I'm in a real bad mood, if I feel so sad or lonely, and I don't feel like doing anything, like this is one of the worst days that I'm having a real bad day, then I study with Kennedy. And for instance, you can see here Bill Eilish. Watching Bill Eilish comforts me. For you, that it might be some other musicians, like maybe it might be Taylor Swift or something, someone else. Basically, I study with Bill Eilish videos or I study with talk shows. When I study with talk shows, uh, it's fun, it's funny. So even if I'm in a really bad mood, it always brings me up, uh, you know, studying with talk shows. So basically, I practice with talk shows. And talk shows, Bill Eilish, Kennedy Walsh, these are like YouTube channels that I study with for fun. That's my uh, first category. I prepare myself for every single scenario. So the second situation that I might be in, I am in a really good mood, I feel happy, but I don't have the motivation and I don't have the motivation like, you know, I feel lazy or some, if I feel lazy or empty or I don't want to do anything, you know, I don't want to study, I, I want to be lazy, like, you know, what am I going to do? Like, I don't want to study English today. You know, I don't have motivation. I mean, I don't feel bad. I'm in a good mood, but 
I just don't want to study, you know, I just want to be lazy. And if I'm in a situation like this, something, something needs to motivate me. Some of you might be motivated by watching my videos. And I was getting motivated by watching other YouTubers videos, just like you do. So for instance, right here, we have Peter, Peter McKinnon, uh, Natalie Lean, right here and it's nice that uh, these are the youtubers that i was studying with i was improving my english with because whenever i felt like arson what am i doing with my life like i don't want to do anything and if i'm in a situation like this i go with case nice that you know because casey kind of like reminds me like he motivates me or i go with natalie natalie is such a great creator she's such a great uh, filmmaker she's a very creative person these are like very creative people very motivational inspirational for me so that always keeps me on track you know on path and this is how i get back on track this is for the second scenario okay now for the another and the last category this last category is mainly improving my vocabulary expanding my vocabulary you can find so many educational content on youtube that might be documentaries that might be some kind of reviews like jubilee or jubilee jubilee or jubilee how do you pronounce it i don't know one of the channels that really helped me to improve my vocabulary is Hassan Piker's channel, YouTube channel, actually he is a streamer at the same time. When I was learning with those types of YouTubers, with those types of YouTube channels, I was learning tons of vocabulary. And if I'm in a really good state and if I feel so motivated and uh, I learn English with those types of content on YouTube. So basically, when I learn English with those YouTubers, I have a chance to improve my vocabulary drastically. I have a chance to learn so many things uh, in a very fast way. When I feel very in a good mood, but when I feel really good, motivated and uh, happy, I definitely try to study with those YouTube videos so that you know I can improve my vocabulary and my knowledge in a very fast way, okay? What's the point of doing that? So what's the point of this video? What's the point of this study technique? It's always easy to give this advice. Study every single day, stay consistent, study so hard, work hard. Dude, yes, you can study every single day, eight hours a day, six hours a day, but how do you, uh, how do you stay consistent? You need to find a way to stay sustainable and we're emotional, we're, we're not robots, we're not machines. We have emotions, we have feelings and our mood is constantly changing even during the day, not every single day, but even during the day, every single hour, your mood can change, your motivation sometimes gonna increase, sometimes it's gonna go down, it's gonna reduce. So many things are going on in our lives and it's not easy to stay stable like a robot. So basically, in order to deal with that, I came up with this method. Try to get to know yourself better and try to adapt to every single situation and try to understand who makes you feel motivated, who makes you feel inspired, who makes you want to study hard, who makes you feel comfortable, who's the person that you can relate to the most. Mood swing method is uh, the one thing that keeps me always consistent like this is how i stay consistent all the time this is how i keep going without giving up okay i'm just contemplating whether or not i'm pulling it off or not let's say you got a new haircut and you're not sure if you look good with this haircut you question yourself like does it look good on you look at yourself in the mirror thoughtfully and this is where we can say you contemplate you consider something or think about something very deeply maybe it's about your view maybe it's something else but you look at yourself in the mirror and you think about something very deeply for a long time thoughtfully and this is where we can say contemplate you're contemplating there's a girl sitting on the bench alone she spent some time alone and you look at this girl you can see she's thinking very deeply and you can tell okay she's contemplating so basically if you think about something very deeply at length you can say contemplate my personality is like i just love forward momentum like i can't stop i can't be stagnant ever for instance you know every single day you practice speaking right you need to practice so that you can improve your speaking skill because the minute you stop speaking that means you're not making progress anymore and if you stop speaking english if you're not making progress anymore this is where we say stagnant you're stagnant you're not making progress anymore i think one big insecurity that i had was talking to girls and socializing especially because i was really like i said i was really fat when i was growing up 
um, that was a huge problem for me. And the only way I was able to overcome it was literally hard work and perseverance. I like this word perseverance so much because perseverance means that you're being patient, you never give up. When it comes to learning English, there will be so many times where you feel like, you know, you're struggling with speaking, you know, even though you're practicing every single day, you're working so hard, there is going to be times where you feel like, I'm still, I'm still struggling with speaking. Even though you struggle, in spite of all these obstacles, all these struggles, all these difficulties that you have in your way, you never give up. You still keep going. And that is what we call perseverance. I cannot think of a situation in which I've been out and about. So if you spend time doing outdoor activities, like if you spend time outside, let's say you go on a walk or you're meeting up with your friends, you're going to shopping or you're going to restaurant to have a dinner so if you spend time outside doing outdoor activities that means you're on a, you're out and about okay including kevin including veronica are people that two months ago i would have actively shunned okay let's say you're walking down the street and there's someone coming and you don't want to talk to that person maybe you don't like this person so this is where we can say you shun this person if you pretend to not to see someone that means you're you know you're basically shunning this person okay these for when I have the munchies. <laughs> I'm on a break right now. I just took a 10 minute break from my work. Every afternoon, every single day, I take a break for like 10 minutes and I have my coffee and then I eat my chocolate. So I got this for when I have the munchies. Now, when Kennedy says I, ha I got this for when I have the munchies, what she means by that is if you're hungry, you can say I have the munchies. But there is a very important difference here. That you're so hungry, you need to have dinner because your body needs that dinner, right? Every single night, you need to have a dinner because your body needs that. Needs that. If if you have the munchies, that means like you know you see you see something like you know crackers or Cheetos or Snackers, you know chocolate or something. You don't need to eat necessarily, but you're craving for it, okay? You're craving salads, you're craving chocolates, you're craving Cheetos, you're craving peanuts, right? but you can maintain your life without eating these chocolates or without eating these cracks or without eating these snacks, okay? For instance, I got this thing, I got this white chocolate because this is one of my favorite chocolates. I like white chocolate so much and I eat this chocolate when I have the mind cheese. Elizabeth is like very blatantly looking at her. Blatantly looking at someone. When it comes to explaining looking at something or someone blatantly, I'm not gonna try to explain this, guys. I'm just gonna show you this one meme that is, I am 100%, I'm pretty sure, you know, every one of you came across this meme at the time. This is the exact definition of looking at something blatantly. If you look at someone or something blatantly, that means you look at something or someone without a shame, in a very clear, in a very obvious way, okay? It's just so obvious where you're looking at. A blueberry pancake, Jared got a raspberry waffle, and we're about to chow it down. I'm just so hungry, I'm just so famished right now, so I might myself a toast and a cup of tea, so I'm just gonna eat it all up. I'm just gonna chow it down and... I finished my toast, I devoured it. So basically, if you eat something in a very eager way or like noisy way, you know, you're just so hungry, you're just so famished and you chow it up, you chow it all down. It means you eat in a very, you know, noisy way or so you eat it without a manner or you eat in a very informal way. <laughs> 